Okay, examples of medical and dental payments you can't include. So the, we looked at the things you can include. Remember, there's a lot of gray area. If you got imaginative here, you might start coming up with a lot of stuff. A lot of people have come up with this stuff before, so it's probably on a list of things that the IRS has tried to whittle down, right? So the cost of diet food, because they included obesity as a disease, you can see how people would clearly then say, well, the food I buy should be deductible, which, which would be quite messy if that was the cosmetic surgery, unless it was necessary to improve deformity related to a congenital abnormality and injury from an accident or trauma or a disfiguring disease. So this gets a messy kind of categorization as well. When you have surgery, was it something that you had to have or was it cosmetic type of surgery, which is a difficult line sometimes to, to, to parse. Life insurance and income protection policies, uh, the Medicare tax on your wages and tips or the Medicare tax paid as part of the self-employment tax or household employment taxes. So when you pay in to Medicare, you might say, well, that's a Medicare, that's a, that's a medical expense, but you're really paying into kind of a benefit program. And there's been some 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 difference in thought over whether social security and medicare is a is a benefit program or or is it something that's like like going to be for everyone kind of kind of thing so and that kind of leads to different thoughts as to whether you should be able to include it as a as an expense or something but in any case tip as you were a as you were age 65 or older but not entitled to social security benefits you can include premiums you voluntarily paid for medicare part a coverage so there could be you know different different components of the medicare coverage some of which you might be able to include so medicare part a coverage here nursing care for a healthy baby but you may be able to take a credit for the amount you paid so you can see the instructions for form 2441 for more detail there and then we have the illegal operation uh operations or drugs so you can't deduct something that's illegal so if you went out of the country like to mexico to get to you know get whatever then can't really deduct. imported drugs not op approved by the u.s food and drug administration the fda so uh, obviously the drugs here are more expensive because of we have the regulations on them and so on but if you buy foreign drugs you can't deduct the drugs so this includes foreign made versions of us approved drugs manufactured without uh, fda approval non-prescription medicines uh, other than insulin including nicotine gum and certain uh, nicotine patches so you can't do the nicotine patches thing travel your doctor told you to take for the rest uh, for rest or for ch for change so obviously people would try to pick that one up my doctor said i needed to go to the bahamas and sit in a, a, ha a hammock can't do that funeral uh, burial or cremation costs line one medical and dental expenses enter the total of your medical and dental expenses after we, you reduce these expenses by any payments received from insurance or other sources in other words if you got repaid by insurance well then you didn't really pay the expense because you got reimbursed for it so if advance payments of the premium tax credit were made or you think you may be able eligible to claim premium tax credit fill out form 8962 before filling out schedule a line one see publication 502 for how to figure your medical and dental expenses deduction now the premium tax credit is usually aimed at low to moderate Moderate this income individuals and that means that the premiums that you paid were lowered be because they're trying to anticipate the tax credit so then you've got to figure out how much your actual payments were uh after the credit that 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 you got and now that and that of course muddies up the waters if you're able to take a schedule a deduction oftentimes you might not have that problem because the people that are qualifying for the the credit are usually low to moderate income people and possibly not itemizing but rather taking the standard uh deduction so you don't have that kind of conflict but possibly tip don't forget to include insurance premiums you pay for for medical and dental care however if you include the self-employed health insurance deduction on schedule one 
Form 1040 Line 17, reduce the premiums by the amount on Line 17 because you don't want to be double dipping again. 